Okay then everybody, welcome back. Uh, we're going to be taking on the first part of Lothric Castle. Um, taking on the... I can't remember his name. Dragon Slayer Armor. Uh, and before we go into that, we're going to re-infuse re our weapon. We are just about at the point where uh, kind of having it raw isn't as good of an option for us as having it as a part of an element. Now we'll take a look at that in a second. Where is it? Where's that nice little red coat? There we go. So as you can see, uh, Raw at the moment uh, is giving us... Oh, it's not showing us the comparison. But essentially, <clears throat> we obviously don't want Crystal. Um, now that our um, stats are heightening, the amount of damage that our um, pick will do in fire um, is rising, as it is with Dark as well. Now, um, I'm unsure as to which direction we're going to go in. I don't know yet. Um, one, what's that? One nine seven. So it's all of seven difference in damage. Although that does less physical damage as well. Hmm. Interesting. What's that be? Two ten. Two eight. Two nine two. So three hundred. What's that? How oh, damage is that by? A bit. I think we're gonna go for dark. Cause I think less things have dark resistance. And if something does have dark resistance, we can um, set it on fire. So we're going to go for a dark great scythe, plus it kind of suits it. Pretty me like that. We should hopefully increase the, our damage output, particularly as um, once it starts to level up, I mean, when we increase its level, uh, once we get some more Titan chunks, which are coming up pre pretty soon, ah, um, we will be able to... Really, you'll see the difference in scaling even even more as you kind of um, level it up, as you can see the damage goes up quite considerably per level. So that's Break pretty cool. Like that. How many chunks do we have? We're currently on three tire chunks. We need three more to fight to finish off our Pyromancer Flame. So for now then, we are off back to the Dancer's Bomb Pot. So, um, how are you guys finding all of the guides? I mean, I have to say, um, <laughs> I feel a little bit of fatigue from the game at the moment. Um, like, I think I'm on about 150 hours in the game at the moment, and I've literally, this is all I've been doing in between work. So, um, now we're going to have Red Eyes here coming over to give us some trouble. You don't really need to face him if you don't want to. Uh, it's totally optional. Be aware that the guy on the left can heal him. So, if you're going to take him on without targeting this dude, you need to do it quickly. Oh yeah, that damage is loads better. <laughs> We're going to have another one coming down the steps in a second, um, along with the spear guy. We all know how much I love spear guys. So, um, over there is a shortcut for later. So, we're not really going to be too bothered about that just yet. Where are we? So, we've got spear guy, sword guy. Now, I'm just going to go straight past these and hit the bonfire, because we're going to have a bonfire in this room. So we really don't at all need to be facing any of these guys. There's nothing to pick up around there. Um, and it's just kind of a excuse just to have really difficult enemies, I guess. <laughs> Whoa, stab it. Wow, his defense is high. I suppose it's that buff he's got on. Ouch. Stop. But the mission was accomplished anyway. Um, we'll be respawning right here, so it doesn't really matter. So we are back. Let's re ember up. And back through we go. Now we are going to be taking a lot of physical damage here, so I'm going to choose to take off um, 
the magic cl the fire clutch ring. Got it in the end. My fire clutch ring. And we're going to put on this just so we can have some extra souls. We do need to start pumping up our intelligence and faith. Um, I do want to get them to at least 35 each. That's an extra tight chunk. Uh, one down. Two more to go. Come on then. Rain on the side there. Pretty good. Just got to get used to it. This guy. Now we're going to clear all these enemies out. There's a fair, there's a fair few of them, um, and then we're going to clear out the building on the right, which has a secret wall in it, which I didn't actually know about until someone pointed it out to me. Guys, down here. Very busy. It's just the one. All right, let's take you down. Hey, you meant to pull up. There we go. So the time I jump. One more, and we can max out our um, pyramids flame, and we can start upgrading the scythe again, which will be nice. Be careful in here. The big knight can jump down on you. It has jumped down on me. <laughs> Careful of his move set, he does have some pretty nasty moves. We're just gonna cook him alive in that armor. How's it feel to be a mobile oven? That's it, oh, we go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Here we go. Is it the wing that set? Sacred Gloom Shield. Cool. So now we can roll around like a fatty. It's cool, 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 cool. Now I don't want you guys to hate me, um, because obviously I have said a few times, but just to make sure everybody's aware this character is going to end up above the uh, meta level, um, just because I want to try and make her um, as nasty and powerful as a part as a dark and pyromancy um, character as I can, just to see kind of how powerful it can get. Uh, I'm supposed to see kind of how how viable it is. I mean, in terms of casters, I do feel like they struggle with the soul level 120 matter anyway, uh, just because they naturally have um, more points to spend. Now, it's kind of difficult because obviously melee focused characters do need less points, so um, I don't quite know how watered down it would make some of the more um, focused builds if the meta were a bit higher. But I guess we'll see how it looks when uh, I get uh, this character. Our fate. Whoa! So happens when you are one mash. Oh wow! Dude needs to stop throwing anti heals on me. That was the first time I've blocked in a long time. <laughs> Two more tiny chunks. That's lovely. So how many are we on? Seven. Rip and our scythe is on plus six, so it's plus two to get it to plus. Man, again. So, who needs to be careful because we can't heal right now? Two down. Two down. We're going to come and get you later, mate. Don't you worry. You are on my hit list. Okay, free amber. Have a quick rest up here. And I've got a cool cheeky little plan coming right up as well. It's nothing that you haven't already seen though. Unfortunately, I do need to sort this out. I'm sorry guys, I'm going to do this next time I have a break. I'm going to clear out my inventory a bit so you can kind of see, so I can kind of get to my arms a little bit quicker. We're going to give this a try. <laughs> cool. Mm. 
So, whilst he is dying, we're going to make a run across this bridge. Now, do be aware, another dragon's going to come flying in and they're both going to start spewing fire everywhere. Now, we want to get to the far side because that is where our final Esther Shard is. I think it's the Esther Shard. Nope, it's the Bone Shard. That's fine. So, as I was saying, do be careful. We've got another item to get on the second time through, um, but we're not going that way just yet, which is why I've kind of come down here. So on the next one we'll be coming down, getting that item and then moving over to the right hand side and that is the path of progression. First there's a small side area. We can deal with this guy down here who is one of those um, things that likes to go into crazy mode. Now I'm not bothered about the drops that they'll give if they are, if they, um, what's the word, if they transform. As you can see tons of chunks coming out right now. Um, absolutely not bothered about the items they give. Um, the trouble they give you just isn't worth it. Titanite chunks. Titanite. Chunk of Titanite even. Uh, so how much that put on now? Nine. That's pretty good. <coughs> just under here. Lightning urns. Kind of tells you the weakness of um, dragons right there. Let's see if we can get this dude from range. Yes. The reason I did that is because there's quite a trap here, and these guys are quite nasty when they're in a group. There's probably going to be one coming from behind me. No, he's not. So do be extremely careful. They'll come from all over these walls, all over there. There's like four or five of them. There are right, yeah. There's one. Let's have you down. There's the next one. I can hear you. There we go. Another one there? No. I'm loving the range on the Great Cypher at the minute, I have to say. Uh, I can see why it's not for everybody, but um, it's doing me some pretty good favours right now. And we've got another fatty around here. Where is he? There he is. Do be careful, he likes to uh, spin around with that halberd of his. But we're going to cook him alive inside that big fat armour of his. That dude is still dying. <laughs> he is taking his time. And here's Mr. We don't like you to heal! Yeah, well, guess what? You sealed your own fate, dude. And we've got the sniper crossbow. And some free firebombs, take those. Okay, that brings us back round. Mr. Lothric Knight is nearly dead. Let's go and finish him off. And take his spoils. Scrape Lance, some more Titan Shards. 45,000 to level. Okay, so before we go ahead and uh, take on what is a fairly difficult path, uh, we're going to go and upgrade some items, um, and then we're going to be going around there dealing with the dragons.
Do not be gone yet. Ok guys, so we're back and it's time for us to go and deal with the Locksworth Castle area and we should be getting quite a lot more um, Titanite chunks and we should get a slab along the way as well uh, which should mean that we can get our great scythe to plus 10 uh, whatever a weapon is that you decide to go using so we're going to go down this way to grab this there's a Titanite chunk already, it's nice this is on 2, we need 2 more to get up to the next level Eight more to get it finished, or should I say, almost finished. Now we've got a couple of nasty enemies around here. Um, there he is. Ooh. We've got another dude trying to stop us from healing up above. So that's only going to take a couple of fireballs. It's fine. The only real issue is you. Range there proving invaluable. Oh, hello, you dropped me item. Thank you. Don't worry, mate, you got it coming. Now, over on the left, you'll see some knights knelt down. We'll deal with those later. Uh, we've got a chime up there, which I think is actually a chime that's going to be pretty useful for us, so we'll be having a go on that later on. So, through here, the first thing we're going to do is clear out this top area. We want to get rid of this guy that stops us from healing. Quite a dangerous enemy below us to deal with. Shoot out. Down here we have got a frost knight on the right hand side, so do be careful. He doesn't like our fireballs though. Pretty cool they stagger him. Don't want to get a frost bitten if we can help it. Whoa, I went straight over it. There we go. Frost Knight down. It'll feel rape here. Down here we've got a few items. No Mimix, which is pretty nice, considering there's tons of these. Mimix will be coming later on though, don't you worry. Have our treasure trove. There we go. Some nice items, more upgrade materials. Let's get this sorted. Okay, so this next area could be a little bit different to what I'm used to. My previous playthrough, I just kind of shot the dragon with spells from here. Now, I don't think our fireball is going to reach him, so what we're actually going to have to do is run over to that doorway just there, where we're going to have an ambush sprung on us. Uh, which we are going to be kind of unable to avoid, so let's see how this goes, I guess. Now, we're kind of doing this flame stopping for at least a moment so we can get at least a part of the way across there. If you would. So let's see how this goes. Here 
we go. So, the place where we really want to get up to is up on that ladder on the right, but I don't know how easy that is going to be for us. Um, you know, I think we'll be fine, let's just go avoid the barrels. Have a heal. Alright, I'll take you down. Now, we're going to have tons of enemies following us right now. So we're trying to kind of want to try and create ourselves a space to fight in. Two down. Let's have a heal. Let's get rid of this. Blackfire. Now, where's the rest of them? Yeah, so you got the two there, lot. So, if you were to tr if you were to try and um, get up the ladder, those two guys there would just can't stop you. Let's go those. There we go. So that was kind of a difficult way of getting around this, really. Now we're going to have um, a thing kind of spew out just here. Come on. There we go. A little bit delayed. Now notice these ones can't move, so don't be in a rush to deal with them. Make sure you're kind of safe before we start kind of throwing stuff out. The only real danger is that it can kind of fill this with some kind of like liquid. But we can target we can target it from up here, which is fine. It really doesn't like fire. And that deals with the dragon. Whoop. Well at least dragon number one. Now once the dragon's dead, it stays dead. So if you're in a very bad position right now and you have um, not enough healing items or anything else that you need to go back and replenish, feel free to go and do that. Um, the dragon will stay dead, so it will be pretty easy for you to get back here, as will the Ice Knight as well. Um, so, you know, no real reason not to uh, kind of go and sort yourself out at this point. Particularly as the other one kind of stops breathing fire as well. Um, I don't quite know why that happens, but it does. So we are going to have ourselves a refreshment. Pretty soon we'll be opening that gate, which is going to be another shortcut for us momentarily. So with that, we've got all of the items from the lower area. Uh, this place is kind of like half done now. So I'm going to have a quick, um, I'm going to have a quick refresh. I'm going to cut back to right. Oh, let's go pick that item. So we've got all the goodies. Uh, particularly the important ones. Uh, so I'm going to have a quick refresh. I'm going to kind of cut to facing that door again, and I'll see you in a moment. All that will have changed is I will have uh, full Estus flasks, uh, and I'm going to have upgraded my uh, scythe plus eight, as I think we have enough. No, we don't. So I won't have upgraded it to plus eight. I'll just have new Estus flasks. See you in a second. Okay, so as promised, I'm back, um, and we are going to carry on with this area. Uh, right around here. Obviously, we have. Um, had a rest, so the enemies will have respawned, um, but we now have the space to kind of deal with them uh, in a little bit more of a slower manner. Come on. So when we try and get on here, these guys should start trying to come down. There we go. I do always think that um, the guys with the broken straight swords, the amount of damage they do with those broken straight swords, if they had real swords, they would do some ridiculous damage. Right, so I'm going to grab this. Probably going to die. Nope. It's fine. 
Obviously, I'm kind of in a position where I can't attack because if I hit one of these barrels, it's going to explode on me. Like that. But we're going to head up this way this time around um, as it kind of acts like a shock for us, even as we don't have to go around all of that. Looks like any enemies are going to chase me all the way around anyway. That's we said that their throwing range is pretty incredible as well. Wish I could throw my fire bombs that far, that far. Right, me down. Okay, so over here we'll have mimic number one. Uh, we are going to have Mister chime his bell. Over there. They haven't aggroed on us yet, so let's get. Good old poisonous out. Where are we? There we go. Whoops. <laughs> Take that off. Oh no, I'm shield. That's close. Right, well, you don't like fire anyway, so. Here you go. Whoa, what happened there? I don't even know how I got caught there. I was like mid roll into a wall. Whoa. Over the, over the balcony. Right, you're going down. There we go. Parents of the wind. Start scales, and now that we can be unfettered, let's get ourselves through this. Some pale pine resin, some free souls. Oh. That's that in here. That's next. Here, try and put a backstab there. Nope. More Tarnak scales. It's almost like they're saying, Upgrade your weapons, you will need it! Um, but a plus 10 Pyramid Splane, we should be pretty fine in the next boss fight. Don't know if we can target that guy from here. We can. Oh, I was kind of hoping that he would be dead by now. Let's get him before he gets healed. No! No! No, 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 no! Oh, we've healed him. Right, let's get. This. Oh, we missed the switch. Okay, I made a bit of a big mistake here. Okay, um, I'm going to try and home a bone out. I'm going to just cut here, um, and I'll be back at the top of there. Okay, so I'm back up on the balcony. Um, terribly sorry about that, guys. Before I started that fight, I totally should have done this. Which opens up the gate, which basically means um, we now have a great big massive shortcut. Uh, we're going to deal with this guy again. Hopefully this time we can get him finished before he gets a heal off. Ah, never mind. Looks like he has been healed. No, he hasn't. He's just got his buff on. Whoa! Okay, guys, I'll come back to there.
There we go, guys. Sorry I wasn't in the exact same position, but I thought I'd show you that it's kind of easier to take it from the front anyway. Uh, these guys don't exactly take um, all that many fireballs. There's very little reason to go mess with this guy over here, um, especially when he's got his defensive buff on, because there's not really any items for us to go and collect. Um, so, we're going to go and grab this. Get ourselves the ember that we just used up. On up this way. Now, I don't think we're going to have any uh, anybody available for co-op for this boss, because um, we didn't side with Cirrus, um, which means that basically um, the person that you can usually have as a friend in this um, isn't here. So I don't know if there are others, I don't know if there's kind of like substitutes, um, depending on what it is you do in between um, different fights, but Cirrus's um, summon sign usually appears around here, uh, if she's going to be available, um, but as I suspected, we aren't going to have anybody who will be doing this solo, uh, but it shouldn't be too bad. I do have a strategy for doing it solo anyway, which is how I did it the first time I did it. So, I'm going to have you, Sunlight Meadow, bit of a clue as to what we're going to be picking up soon. Um, before we go this way, cause I think this way is a series of... Ooh, there is a sun sign. So we're actually going to have Igon of Kareem, because we haven't upset him, that's nice. So we are going to have a summon sign. Uh, items through here. Yeah, it's probably going to be coming back through this way in a minute, so I'm kind of not doing this properly right now because I don't think that's a mimic. No, nope, it's not a mimic. The next mimic is actually underneath us. Um, got a few different th different paths to clear. That one there is going to be the last one because uh, this is a drop down which will get us. Um, I think it's the chime of Kaitha or something like that. Kaitha's chime. Um, so first up we're going to be going over this way, uh, we want to go up on top of that roof just there, there's a few little loop rounds basically that are going to get us um, a few pretty cool items and this one in here is actually the Sunlight Covenant. So if you've been collecting those medals this is where you can kind of use them up. Um, I'll be doing that on my cleric, cleric character. Um, I'm kind of toying with the idea of raising all of my characters to level 140 um, and then kind of inciting that that's the uh, level that we should be at against everyone else's recommendations just because I like to have comfortable playthroughs. Um, on 6, that's cool, that means we can now upgrade our scythe to plus, well we can upgrade to plus 8 anyway, we need 4 more to upgrade to plus 9. So this is a little bit of a mean bit because we've got 2 archers um, and just as you start getting over here um, we're going to have one of the big axe dudes coming around. So we're going to take one of them on with the fireball at least. We'll get with the second one, that's cool. Alright, we're going to have a quick regroup. And you're going to catch some fireballs, buddy. Cool. Quite happy with how strong the fireball is, I have to say. I suppose I should be calling it the fire orb, shouldn't I? Across this way, around for the ladder, or is it a drop down? It's a drop down, okay. Oh no, there is a ladder. Ah. Night Shrink, uh, I believe that's a bonus to strength. So, for those wanting to create a knight, strength faith build, not a bad plan. Uh, Going to be playing around with things like that uh, in future playthroughs. Uh, those, although those won't actually be um, walkthroughs in the same manner that I've done here. Uh, I may do some kind of like rush, rush throughs of the game, um, just so I can have like multiple characters to kind of play around the stats on. Uh, and here is the um, Ultra of Sunlight. They can give you a Sunlight Medals. Don't think this one's Mimic. Should be the uh, Sunlight Straight Sword, I think. Nope, time that's gone. Sunlight Straight Sword's the Mimic below us. I was going to mix it up. It's like it should be there, but it's laughing at you. Corpse down over this way. Now we should be able to target this guy right from up here, and he can do nothing to us, so have at it. Especially with this, because it's only probably only going to take two. Nope, it takes three. So make sure you are at decent health up here. Uh, ooh, two more Titan Trunks, that's lovely. Why, thank you kindly. Uh, two more uh, before we can actually upgrade ourselves. Now, this is going to hurt a lot, uh, so do be careful. Dark gem. 
And then here we have a mimic. We all know what we like to do to mimics. Oop. We like to do that to mimics, don't we? There we go, that's you done. Oh. Give him that shield back. Cool, so grab that. Got a new Braille Tome, which we can give to Reno, which we will be doing. Um, kind of strangely for this place, for I guess I am going to have her uh, have her holy. Um, have herself the holy ending. Anyway, we're going to cut to uh, this chest dying. So, see you in a minute, guys. Let's get dealt with. Uh. Cool, as I was saying, still not straight sword. Coming on over this way. Now to this balcony, and that is this entire area cleared. So, um, I'm going to check how long the video is. Uh, obviously, we're going to go and. In fact, might as well just do this. So, we're going to go and level up. I will check how long the video is. Um, if it's too long, then um, obviously the boss is going to be in the next video. If not, well, then. Uh, very well, thank we'll do not only one go. Got two more levels, it's lovely. really need this as well, though. Get our uh, great scythe upgraded while we're here. Right. There we go, I can have it better now. It's now over 300, which is. Not do you be anywhere. careful. Cooped, I will catch you in a minute, guys. Enjoy the rest of the day. <laughs>